guys, how easy is it to connect an iPhone to the Honda E for some Apple CarPlay? Let's find out. Alright guys, so we got our iPhone over here ready and waiting. This is the iPhone 12 mini by the way. Big shout out to Vodafone for hooking this phone up for review. Um, they actually wanted me to do reviews on the phone, but I thought we might as well do a little Honda E iPhone um, corporation kind of thing, isn't it? So yeah, I'm going to go to Bluetooth audio here. Right there, there we go. And then it should it's searching for phones, but ideally all the phones that I've connected to this are not on, the Bluetooth's not on kind of thing. So we're going to go to connect new device. Um, so it's prompted up. However, if it doesn't normally tell you that you can connect a new device, what you can do is go to all apps down here. Then you go all the way down to you get to general settings. And then you go to where's smartphone? Yeah, smartphone connection. And then you go to Apple CarPlay. And then you go to connect new device. There we go. And it will tell you to turn the Bluetooth on on the iPhone and search for Honda um, HFT. So let's get the iPhone here. Um, where is Honda starting another? There we go. Let's go into settings there. Go into Bluetooth, Honda HFT. There we go, 878, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, and that's come up on there as well. So that's all good. So let's pair that. Uh, let's allow that. There we go, that's all connected. And that's all connected over there as well. Would you like to, okay, so that's, let's put the iPhone down for a second. Would you like to enable Apple CarPlay? Yes. There we go. Let me bring the iPhone back up again. Um, use CarPlay with Honda HFT. Yes. Okay. And we haven't got anything going on at the moment. I guess they're both loading. Oh, no. And we're there. Just like that. So what's really cool about the Apple CarPlay is that you don't have to have it connected by a wire. Um, it can just literally sit here whilst you do what you need to do on the phone. Now, obviously my, oh no, the iPhone is connected to the internet. So let's see what's going on. Unable to play music. When you stop driving, check Apple Music on your phone. Well. My handbrake is up, so it shouldn't think that I'm driving. Um, it's got the messages there as well. Um, what else has it got there? Maybe it's not playing music, because I haven't really signed into music yet. I haven't even got any music on Apple Music, I don't believe. Do I have any music on Apple Music? Um, library, looking for music. Will automatically turn off. No, no, let's keep that on because I'm not driving. I haven't got my seatbelt on. Um, browse. Do I have any music on iPhone? See, guys, I'm an Android guy. I don't really use iPhone like that. But yeah, as you can see, um, Android Auto is all there. We've got the maps from Android Auto now. That's working. Um, what is that in the corner down there? Okay, it's like a little overview kind of thing. Um, they've got food. You can To use maps in CarPlay, allow maps to use your location in iPhone on your iPhone okay because I haven't opened the maps yet for the first time there we go um, allow once allow there we oh and there we go right so it's updating on there now um, so maps is working looking for your music oh that's working as well and the messages is working brilliant um, let's go for shopping. What shopping have they got in the area? Yeah. So there you go, guys. That's how easy it is to literally connect your iPhone to the Honda e infotainment system. There's not... Oh, there is some other apps here. We've got audiobooks, podcast, maps, phone, obviously. Uh, calendar. What does the calendar look like? No events today. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, and then it keeps your most recent free there, I'm assuming. What else have we got going on here? That's that's about it, it looks like. You've got Honda. What does that do? Oh, that just brings you back to the home screen, right? And then I'll go into Apple CarPlay there again. Okay. Yeah. Now playing. Um, settings. What settings do they have? Do not disturb while driving. Or oh, appearance. Wallpaper. Or oh, you can change the wallpaper on the... Let's try that. Hey. So you can change the wallpaper. How do I get to the back? 
Hey, that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. It's a shame that it doesn't span across two screens, but I guess in reality, you only need the screen that's closest to the driver and you can switch it to that side if you do need to anyway. Right. So what other settings do they have there going on? If I go back, it's quite quick, by the way, guys. Um, let's quite quickly show album art, suggestions in dashboards, and that's it for the settings, it looks like. And if I go back, um, yeah, back to that kind of thing. So there you go guys, hopefully this helped. Um, if you guys were having any trouble getting your iPhone connected to your Honda e dashboard, pretty simple process. Again, you just turn on the Bluetooth, connect it to Honda HFT, and then you just accept the on-screen prompts. And just to find, again, if you guys need help finding the Bluetooth settings on your Honda dashboard, you go into all apps down here in the bottom corner, you scroll down, yeah scroll down until you get to general settings then you go to smartphone connection it's a pretty standard procedure probably <laughs> to be honest apple and it literally asks you do you have an iphone do you have android if you have an iphone apple carplay um and then you connect a new device and that that's pretty much it guys so yeah hopefully that helped let me know if it did in the comment section below subscribe like and yes, big shout out again to Vodafone for hooking me up with this iPhone to review. I'll catch you guys in the next one anyway. All right, bless.